folks. Few bits I bought today, not a lot. And it's here and there. Just start off with the old soup, the old Reaper soup. A lot of people ask about this. And what you can do is, I can cook, so I can easy make a soup. But for these, I like simplicity, quickness. Heinz do a box of sachets, cup of soup sachets. They're not called cup of soup, but it's Heinz Creations, I think. And one is a tomato soup with a spicy. One is a tomato soup. Mexican spices and herbs. This uh, I really love, it's the Mexican spices and herbs and it's pretty nifty in itself. It's got a little bit of a, a nip there. So if you didn't really like chili, you, you probably won't want to drink it. Uh, but it's very pleasurable. What I do with this is I've got a bottle of Venom uh, Reaper sauce and I put a good teaspoon in there and that kicks it up and that really gives it a hump feel it there feel it here feel it going down here but it's so bloody delicious so make your own or do it this way do it with tins, whatever you like. But for me, every time I want one of these, it's a lovely, quick, simple way of making a soup. And buy what you like. Buy jalapeno, habanero, ghost chili, Carolina Reaper sauce, the, the hot ones teaspoonful, two teaspoonfuls, whatever you like. But if you use the reaper, it's bloody up. So I'd start with a teaspoon. All right, so that's what that is for people that ask me. I bloody love it. So what have I bought today? Oh, I bought this. It's a little bit tight. It's an XL. It's bloody tight for an XL. But I find when I wash shirts, and this has got quite a length to it. It's quite, I've got it tucked in, there's quite a length. I find they tend to go that way rather than that way. They tend to go that way and a little bit out. So with that, plus I'll put my arms in and I tend to push it out like that so it stretches it so a couple of times a couple of washes this should feel better what it is it's like thorax thorax spine some bones it doesn't look too wide in the bones because they're inside this lapel and I don't know if you can see it very well on there but it's it's based on a jacket so it, Here's your lapel of the jacket, like a tuxedo jacket. A rose on the lapel. This side, there's a little pumpkin. I don't know if you can hear it if I do that. If you can't, I'll maybe, I might just record it close up, add the sound afterwards with a picture of the shirt. But these are eight pound and I thought it's Halloween, get one, bit of fun. This apparently glows in the dark. So if you're out in the dark, nobody will see you coming, but they'll see these flipping ribs walking down the road. Right, apart from these, the only other one, I, well there's two, one's grey and it's got characters from uh, The Walking Dead on. Um, different actors on there um, if it was like last year with all the different bits I would have had it but uh, wrong colour for me as well 
uh, up there 10 pound I believe and there's a it t-shirt with Pennywise on the modern Pennywise and the big letters in red saying it but for me it's too pinky pinky red all the top here is pinky red the at and everything plus I like the Tim Curry version rather than the modern one so it wasn't for me they are, they are 10 pound these are eight um, I'm, a, I'm looking forward to washing this a few times so it all dies down and don't sort of be going right what else I get today ah golf band In a chat shop, 99p. Lady Smith Black, Mambazo, Mambazo, Mam, Mam, Mambazo, Mambazo. Anyway, Lady, Lady Black Mambasa. I think it's O, oh, Bazo, I think Bazo. Not sure. Anyway, people who remember this when they did. Uh, a single a few years back that was really really popular um, I'll put a picture up of this and a little bit of one of their songs or two it's in most of it's in African or some African dialect or some of so I can't understand the bloody word but it's nice background music so yeah I don't care. Um, while I was talking about these, I did go in Asda today to see if uh, our Asda's caught up with Halloween, and it has, but it's a bit dismal. So it's like a few of the shops this year, there's the um, costumes and the makeup and party bits and bobs and that, but the gritty stuff just doesn't seem to be there. There is some stuff, if you look back here, I don't know if you can see them, there's two cages. One I bought one year, nothing in it, and I put the skeleton uh, crow in. The one in front, uh, similar black cage, but it had the black raven in, and when it's turned on, you get near to it, and it says something to you. But it wasn't very good at doing it, so it's never on. But this year they got the same cage, and in it there's a, a dark grey, that size, little parrot with its beak, and uh, it's pretty bloody neat. And it says some good little sentences, so seeing as I've got a bit of a theme going, I might drop back in the week and buy that. Apart from that, there wasn't really anything that I just wanted to go grab. Um, oh, there's the, there's the bat outline of a... Yeah, there's the, a light in the outline of a bat that you press a button and it turns on. That's pretty nice. It, sit somewhere around um, no so I went over the t-shirt section and I found a couple of t-shirts went into B&M and they're selling loads of these things these pop characters um, there's uh, Star Wars there's other characters that I don't really know but I just saw this little character and I thought I'm having this one anyway because <coughs> this month October 
is actually International Kinky Week, <laughs> Kinky Month, or Kink Month, whatever. And I saw this little character in here, and it's supposed to be Catwoman. But I mean, I don't know if it's a modern Catwoman out, but I can't remember bloody Catwoman like this. Um, Oh, this little disc I dropped must be what the stand are on. Better not bloody lose that either. Anyway, here is Catwoman. <laughs> the usual big head, little body, and there she is. Oh, I should put a picture up. Uh, she's in slinky little outfit, fish fishnet tights. And what looks like a whip. So that goes with uh, the kinky month of October. But yeah, all these little characters, Star Wars, whatever, if if you like these, they're four ninety nine in B&M. Um, I didn't see any other character as characters that I really like. Sometimes you get very goth sort of characters. And B&M again, before I go. These, I saw them the other day and I thought I'll get them on the nearly forgot by going somewhere else. Probably Asda. And went back. I saw these the other day and I thought if I don't buy these I'm a freaking dipstick. It's one, two, three, four, five. Five bottles of uh, hot chilli sauce. And they come like that. So if you have a look. And I'll put a picture up. And there is the little fuse. They're all tied in a lump there. But it's a fuse that goes through each one. So it's like a stick of dynamite. And the funny thing was, the girl behind the till, I said, actually, I said, I feel like going around the shop with these flipping like that. And before I could say the word, <laughs> she says, yeah, that'd be a good idea. You'd probably get tased. I said, the word I was going to use. That's that a stick, <laughs> sticks of dynamite. I thought, yeah, nip around the shop going, yay, with those. These were four ninety nine for five bottles. <coughs> I have to put my golf glasses on, and I'll tell you what they say. There's a hot rattlesnake hot sauce, a garlic hot sauce. These would be chili sauces. Spicy hot sauce. Cajun jalapeno hot sauce, hex, hex, where freaking H come from? Extra hot sauce, and now uh, we started off with the rattlesnake. So th there's five. Um, I don't think it's that easy to, to open them without busting it all. But let's have a look, see what the bottles look like. Oh, the bottles are tied up as well. So, yeah, it's, it's little bottles like that. This is the Hot Danger Taste Explosion. Hot sauce, extra hot. Right. Now, me and my hot stuff. <coughs> and there is bigger boxes with six and maybe more in of different spice, uh, chilies or whatever. And I decided on getting this one because this one is $3.99 for four bottles. That's what the box looks like. It's a really good box for um, wasting paper and whatever. Because if you take that off, inside there there's a, a lump and it goes in that far 
have a look about that far so all the rest is bloody waste of space like I said there is longer boxes with probably six eight or whatever in but if you take all the gump off this is what it looks like and I haven't actually read this one so there's a scorching hot sauce there's an extreme hot sauce a sizzling hot sauce and a medium hot sauce well, I suppose it goes that way medium sizzling extreme scorching so I'm looking forward to those have a quick look to see what might be in them well the extreme has got alapita um, habanero Scorching is red chilies, yeah, spices, other loving stuff, ra -di da di da So, the scorching one is really made up of chilli powders and predominantly red chilli. So, I don't know. But, we'll find out when I actually get round to trying them. That was today really. Um, I only went out for a while. I shall look around in the week. But Halloween's here and Halloween as well. In some places it's fading off a bit. You can see them going. Oh, I can soon put more Christmas, more Christmas. So, I'm off. Bottoms up. So now you know how to make this. Have a flipping go at it. But you need a good, strong Carolina Reaper sauce to whack in there if you're going to make it effective. Catch you later.